podcast La Sal Org. Welcome to this episode of the series Finite, Fragile, Free. Sometimes our thoughts, realities, or feelings let us to postpone our goals. We are human, we are fragile. Recognizing this and accepting God's help and will gives us peace, tranquility, and the strength to continue on our journey. We feel free. This episode is titled Dry Season, Renewed Every Morning. Podcast La Salle Ord. Your podcast, our podcast. I struggle to keep up. I'm not good at this. I am bound to fail. I do not deserve to be here. I drag people down. I am threatened. I cannot do it. Maybe it is best I quit. In many instances, these thoughts run through my mind as I stare at the blank document on my monitor. I'm trying to write my dissertation. My thoughts take over, like manipulative creatures. So powerful, they exhaust my energy, leaving me vulnerable. I need to breathe. I need to get away with what triggers my anxiety. I leave my desk and listen to some Linkin Park songs, do other things and convince myself I am doing something productive. Time passes by quickly. I return to my desk. I drag myself to write one, two or three sentences, but I still end up with the blank manuscript. In my idleness, I build resistance. Like a rebel, I do other things except what is needed to be done. The thoughts cycle again and again. Research is not for you. And I start dreading my dissertation. I associate it with negative things and failure. At the last stretch trying to obtain the degree, I am having doubts. I am slowly losing the drive to move forward. I deliberately reject it, procrastinate, and find ways to break free. Hours of nothingness turn into days. I am in a slump. I start to question my life my purpose, and my value as an individual. I am imprisoned by my worries, fears, and frustrations. My unhealed wounds and insecurities surface. I live in guilt and shame. In my solitude, I weep in hopelessness. I am so broken. What should I do? In my desperation, I call on God. I cannot do it alone. I need him. I pray for wisdom, strength, and guidance. I ask that he make my path straight. He answers through the people I talk to and the circumstances I encounter day by day. I am blessed to be surrounded by people of faith who help me form godly thoughts and live a Christ-like life. I can choose to give in and end my suffering, but God has put me in this situation. I am wandering in the wilderness, 
like the Israelites who wandered in the desert towards a promised land. In this period of loneliness and despair, I long for God. In this season of waiting, I am holding on to His promises. I take courage knowing that He is with me, fighting for me. God knows how stubborn I am, yet I am still here. It is difficult to let go of vanity, to humble oneself, and to surrender, but God has His ways of reminding me that He is in control, not my thoughts and not my feelings. The only one I can trust is His voice, the truth and wisdom in His words. I am a work in progress. I still find myself overthinking and worrying at times, but I have learned to pray to God about them and wait patiently. When I am down and weary, I read Lamentations chapter 3 verses 16 through 33, and I am specifically drawn to verses 22 to 24. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in Him. My journey is becoming more about God and less about myself. He brings calmness and joy in my suffering. He carries my burden and frees me from pain. His overflowing love and mercy sustain me. I do not deserve His faithfulness, yet He stays. By His grace, I am moving one day at a time. I have miraculously progressed. I still have a lot of things to do to reach the finish line. But having written something in my manuscript is a victory. I give all the credit and glory to God. He is at work. I have thought of quitting my PhD many times. But unless God says it is over, my journey continues. At the moment, I still do not know whether I will finish my dissertation or not. I still do not understand why certain things happen in my life. I still do not know what the future holds, but wherever God takes me, I will follow Him. In my journal, I recently wrote, Lord, your timing is always right. Your plans are bigger than mine. I trust you. Your will be done. In everything, I give you praise. In everything, I give you thanks. Thank you for listening. Every week we will have a new episode of Limited Fragile Free. Follow us and share LaSalle Org podcast. Your podcast. Our podcast. See you soon. LaSalle Org is a podcast produced by the Office of Information and Communication of the Institute of the Brothers of the Christian Schools.